Hi everyone, it's me, Darlene. It is Sunday and I have a mission today. I have to return some clothes that I got for Skylar while she was here. You know, we were just picking things up off the racks and did a lot of the trying on here at home. So I've got three bags of clothing that need to go back to Target and Kohl's and Walmart. So Target and Kohl's are in Biddeford. So I'm on my way to Biddeford all by my lonesome. I don't think I'll be doing any shopping in those two stores. I just feel like getting out, going for the ride. And then I hope to hit Shaw's to do my shopping for my stockpile. This week my mission is to get 60 cans of veggies and I can't remember how many paper towels I have my list. I know I think it was six of those that I wanted so six times eight 48 rolls of paper towels and uh, some Jif spread hazelnut spread because I have coupons for those and then I'm also gonna pick up some of the Jif peanut butter because it's on sale for 149 I was gonna do that at Market Basket in Biddeford because it's on sale there for 140 150 but um, I didn't realize that it was also that same price in Sanford so I'll just go ahead and get it right at Shaw's so anyway I just wanted to let you know what my plan is I don't know if I'll be taking cameras in store I know obviously I won't at Shaw's because they don't want me to. We'll just take a ride and I thought maybe if I tell you now up front what my plans are, maybe I'll accomplish them. All right, let's go. Oh, and to say it's hot is an understatement. It is hot. It's saying 90, but inside this car right now, it's probably 150 degrees. So I'm going to uh, open the windows and let it air out a little bit and crank my AC. I'm in front of Kohl's and I'm about to run in to uh, return a pair of pants. And I was going to really try to fake this day, but it's a crying day, and I just don't think I can um, fake it if I'm going to want to record anything. So, you know, I just have a lot of these days, and it especially affects me when I'm in my car riding. The sun is out. I hate that so much. I hate the sun. I just had a bad night, and I'm tired. I don't even have any tissues in here. Gonna just try to get through and do what I have to do. And um, we'll come out on the other side all right. So I'm gonna try to dry my eyes and go return Skylar's clothes. But I have to use my shirt sleeve. Uh, for someone like me should always have tissues. I am so not prepared. But anyway, okay. I'm going to go in. I am going to take the camera with me. Who knows? Maybe I'll find something that I want to show you guys. I just ran into Kohl's and returned this stuff and came right back out. And I was just, I'm just too much in a crying mood to be in a store. So now I'm trying to just stop so I can go into Target without looking like a complete idiot. And I really did want to look for a couple things here. Although I just feel so sick to my stomach and so much like not being out oh my god there's people right next to me in my window <laughs> I wonder if I saw somebody like me sitting in a car alone crying if I would ask if they were okay I really am surprised sometimes that people don't stop and ask me <laughs> all right so what did I want to get in here I, I need tissues I don't know what else I was going to stock up on my peanut butter at Market Basket, but it's the same price at Shaw's. But I just don't know if I should still just go in and get it at Market Basket. So just give me that much less at Shaw's to get so I don't have to uh, do so much in one transaction. I wish those people would leave. But maybe it's just a sign for me to just go return the clothes. All right, Target was a complete bust. I actually tried to go shopping, and I just was crying uncontrollably in the store to the point where I was afraid they were going to come and ask me what was wrong, so I had to just leave. And um, I'm sitting in front of Market Basket now, and I just would like to go in for some tissues at least. And the peanut butter, I just don't... don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. And I know, you know... You're probably just saying, oh my gosh, just go home. What's the big deal? Go home. You don't need to do this stuff. But the thing is, is I, I have a lot of days like this. And I have to push through it or I would, I would never do anything. So that's why I'm, I'm trying so hard. 
tomorrow's flyer day, so I can't do anything tomorrow. And then on Tuesdays, I'm usually tired from flyer day. So I'm not likely to want to go out on Tuesday. And then it just gives me Wednesday and Thursday to shop at Shaw's. And I don't like to let it go that long because then I, I worry about it all up until then. My plan was after market basket, you know, just resting on the drive home and then going to Shaw's to do my big haul. And I mean, I don't mind if I'm caught crying here at market basket. Nobody knows me, but I would feel quite foolish at Shaw's. Now, the woman in front of me is pulling out. And I'm going to try this again like I did at Hannafit that time. I want to pull ahead so I don't have to back up. <laughs> what started all this is just it has absolutely nothing to do with anything that I should be upset about. I just was online and last night and listening to some music and music makes me sad and I was just reading up on the history of a band and it was sad and, and that's what triggered this. I just feel like life is so sad. All right. I gotta get in there. I'm gonna use my shirt. I can't believe I don't have a tissue. No, I don't have anything. I have a paper towel. I've got to get in there. I just have to. I have to just get over this. All right. Here I go. I wish I had a better place to put this camera in this car. I was all set in the Jeep, but I don't I don't quite have it figured out in here yet without having to construct something every time. I um I mean I'm I looked foolish in the store and I, and I just don't care. I mean there could be people in there that even know me. I forget that. Oh well, anyway. Well, if they know me, they know they can expect to see me crying sometimes, and that's all there is to it. I'm just so incredibly sad today. It's just awful. It hurts. It's that kind of painful, painful sadness about life in general. And, um, I did get some tissues. They're in the back seat. I picked up, uh, ten Jif peanut butters. So I don't have to do that at Shaw's. And what else? Oh, I grabbed four cans of beets. I really need to stock up on beets, but I'd like to get them on sale for like 50 cents at some point. Beets are always, ne they're never included in the sales at Shaw's, you know, for the cheapy. It's always just corn, green beans, and peas. So my plan is to try to stop crying before I get to Sanford and go to Shaw's. I would like a total of 60 cans of veggies. I'm thinking I might do 30 today if I can. And then I can do 30 when I go pick up the flyer tomorrow or if I'm not up to it or I'm running late and I just don't want to deal with it, I could go and do 30 at the rest of the week. I bought a Snapple because I was so thirsty and I never have water. This is, I don't like it. I don't. Ever buy st Oh, it says right there, frigging unsweetened. I didn't want something sickly sweet, but I would have liked a little bit of sugar. No wonder it's so disgustingly bland. But it's cold. <sighs> so sad. All right, on the road, I will let you know how I do at Shaw's if I go. I have to go. I have to go. If I don't go, I will go home and I'll be even more miserable than I am. I have to go to bed tonight knowing that I accomplished something. All right. Oh, my goodness. Well, I survived. I... I got lucky in that there was a guy bringing out cases of the veggies and I grabbed veggies by the case. I got nine cases of canned veggies and he was kind enough to go get four for me 
because I wanted the whole green beans, which I can't believe are included in this sale. They are so awesome. And then I got, and the beets were included. And I just bought four cans of beets at Market Basket just to get by because I did not think the beets would be included, but they were. The beets were, carrots were, all the varieties of corn, all the varieties of, of green beans, the cut, the whole, the French. Um, the carrots were, so here's what I got. I got one case of carrots. Now, I do not like canned carrots, but in a pinch, if I like mash them up and mix them with my mashed potatoes, that's okay. My mother will eat them. She likes anything. And so I just decided to get a case of those. That's 12 cans of carrots. I got two cases, so 24 cans of beets, 24 cans of super sweet corn, 24 cans of whole green beans, what's left? 24 cans of peas. So that was painless because I was able to do it in a case. I was going to show it to you, but I didn't want to be outside with the camera in the parking lot. So I'll show you when I, when I get home. Then the other thing I got was, oh, I can't be in here too long. My four boxes of Outshine. And then since I needed two more items to make a group of six, uh, the veggies all worked out because they were all grouped by six by buying the cases and she didn't have to take them out. We just, she scanned one can and times 24 and then the money came off. Okay. So I got four outshine and two of the paper towels. I wanted six bags, you know, six packages of paper towels, but I didn't want to put six in my carriage because my carriage was full of veggies. So I took the four outshine bars and two paper towels and the three dollars didn't come off on that. So we had to, I don't know, did it? I thought I saw it do it, but it didn't look like it was on the slip and I and I studied that slip and then, and I went to the service desk and I said, can you see if it came off? And he didn't find it. So he gave me three bucks. And then um, I picked up and reduced, do I have anything here? Oh, I just picked up an upside down pineapple cake, which looked pretty good. I've not seen it yet. I don't know. I don't have it. An upside down pineapple cake for $2.50 and a, a big, soft, puffy bread for $1.25. And I did get a pint of blueberries. Completely forgot my jolly time. Had my coupons right there. I did use my coupons for the outshine, even, even though I forgot it first. And then I gave them to her to scan them. People are right next to me looking at me talking. And I could not get my Jif hazelnut spread because that was completely wiped off the shelves, as I thought it would, because I tell people about it and they come and get it before I can, and that's perfectly fine. And I don't care if I don't get any because, you know, it's not something that's a must have for me. And, you know, they're 49 cents a jar, so I, I, I don't need to spend 49 cents a jar. I'll be fine if I don't get the hazelnut but I will look tomorrow and maybe I will uh, ask for a rain check. I don't know. So anyway, that's it. And I'll try to get my jolly time tomorrow. So I'm very happy with my day, even though it was a tearful day. You know, I'm still feeling like crap, but the, the big crying period seems to have faded a little bit. Holy, am I hot? So uh, I hope to just, um, oh, just rest the rest of the day. That's about it. I have zero energy to do anything. I certainly don't have any energy to bring nine cases of veggies in the in the house, but I'm not going to uh, leave them in the car. I don't want them to get hot like that. So it feels good to not be as crushingly sad as I was all day. It's starting to lift a little bit. Probably because the sun is going down. Seriously, the sun depresses me to no end. I know it's supposed to be the opposite. Sun on the face, supposed to be very good for us. But it, it's, it just, to me, it just, I don't know. The sun just depresses me. <laughs> Makes me feel like I should be living a fabulous life. And I feel like I'm not. And the sun just puts a lot of pressure on me to be something that I'm not. I'm missing Skylar so much. All right. Okay. That's it. I'll show you my, my trunk when I get home.
not that drunk. <laughs> All right, I'm in my driveway now. And, um, not doing that great. I am, I just can't believe that I did what I did today. I mean, I just can't believe I have that clothes returned, finally. And I have 108 cans of vegetables in my car. And do I want to beat myself up because I forgot about the friggin' popcorn? Yes, I do. I want to beat myself up. And... And I didn't get all the paper towels that I wanted, but I still can. And the, see, these are the things that that I need to back off from. I have, I can make a list. I can have goals. It doesn't mean I have to meet them. I have to remind myself that all the time because I'm one of these people that if I come home not exactly what I planned, that I feel like it, a complete failure. Like you know. Anyway, I'm a, I'm a complicated creature. So um. So yes, I was in the stores, four stores today with a face like this. I actually ran into somebody that I haven't seen in years, and I don't know if they just thought my face was soaking wet because I was sweaty or tears. It was a mixture of both. It's like I could faint from embarrassment when I think of how I look when I'm out there, but, but then again, it's like... Uh, I feel like I have to stop living around the way I am. I have to just still get out and go do stuff. And and, and uh, I just want to try so hard to have some kind of some kind of normalcy. But anyway, so I did it. I got out. I got some stuff done. Why is this beeping? I heard a beeping and I thought it was my camera, but it was my car telling me that. I have keyless ignition, which is still bizarre to me. I, it feels so wrong to not have a, a key in my hand to start my car. But, um, so anyway, it was telling me that that wasn't turned off right. Because I don't know how to turn off a car without a key. So, um, again, for those of you who think that it's bizarre that I would go out in this state of mind. I do it often. I just don't show everybody. And cars and crying, it's its the place where I cry. I mean, I, I can cry anytime I'm in a car. I think of things and I, I, the music and, you know, sometimes it can be okay, but mostly it's not. Some of you will remember that about a year ago, I had started this thing where I was listening to music and dancing in my house. I had like maybe two weeks of pure joy of doing that. And then it crashed. It came crashing down and I, I was so depressed by the music after. And when I know, I know what it was is that we had, um, I had my doctor change my meds and that's exactly what that was. Sometimes when I change meds or change my dose, I'll actually go through a little manic period until my body adjusts and that's exactly what that was and then and then it just came crashing down and I and I can't I can barely ever listen to music and once in a blue moon I can and I'll get a little glimpse of feeling good about it or I fake it <laughs> you know most of the time when you guys see me doing a video where I seem to be upbeat that's a lot of a lot of work sometimes for me to to look like that and to act like that because um I'm usually more like this but like I said I don't want to show you guys more than like maybe two crying videos a month I think that I should max it out at that else you guys will be coming over here with a white coat and getting me out of the house anyway I'm I'm tired and I'm hot and I'm gonna show you the junk in my trunk which is the food that I bought okay so there's my nine cases of veggies. Happy, happy about that. And my two eight packs. So I have 16 rolls of paper towel. And I will try to get six more tomorrow. And that is it. Other than the outshine bars and stuff that I bought. But, uh, and who's going to help me bring this in the house? Hmm? Who? Who? Can you be right over? <laughs> you know, I really don't think I could have gone out today if I didn't have this camera and know that I was taking you guys along with me for the ride. And I know there's probably 90% of you think this is weird, but that 10% of you who get it, you guys are the ones who keep me going. Thank you. Bye.